Hi everybody. Have some glazed results to share. Today's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving out here in the U.S. and uh, I'm cooking so I'm doing a lot of the things today that I can in advance like turnips and acorn squash and my pumpkin pie um, things that can be refrigerated for tomorrow and heat it up if need be. So, um, I ex no, not accidentally, uh, somebody sent me a glaze color called Mandarin Orange by mistake. And they were very nice and, you know, they sent me the postage to send it back and I never did it. <laughs> so, now that I've opened up one of the bags and made this Mandarin Orange color, um, I think I'm going to keep it all because it really does make a pretty cool California poppy. It didn't drip. It works well um, with the iron red. I had a couple of batter bowls where I forgot to add the thumb rest and I wasn't happy that they didn't match my other batter bowls. So I thought, what a good opportunity to try out this mandarin orange. So one side has a bud and one side has a flower. And then I, have, as usual, I waxed the flower and then dipped it this time into sea mist, which is much greener. So instead of the fog, which is a gray green, this is sea mist, which is a real um, turquoisey green. Anyway, I kind of like them. I think they look pretty cool. I think I like the red with the fog better, but it still it still came out nice. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Don't get dizzy. I also had a lot of work from my students and my studio potter. These are pieces that my, Joan, the studio potter, did last season. And they were sitting here all covered up in a box waiting for her to get back down. So she had a couple of vases and six mugs. And she hand-built one of the fruit bowls with the Florida mangrove leaf pressed into it. Very pretty. And then Carol, who just tried pottery for the first time, these are her first, very, very first three pieces. She should be thrilled. She made them. She turned them. She glazed them. She did it all, and they just really look sweet. And then Jeanette had a really, really successful bowl here, I think. She pinched it, and as she was pinching it into a bowl shape, the clay was drying, and it cracked all along the sides and a little bit on the inside rim. And then she put um, a couple of coats of Chino just on the inside and the outer rim. And I think it looks really nice. Really, really nice. I had some good results with, hold on, dizzy time, with some more repeat wear. This is the sea mist over Chino, the shell mugs, and the salsa servers. Got to keep up on that. You know, it's Christmas time. People are buying. Hold on. Don't get dizzy. Then I experimented a little bit with this mandarin orange. I put it on the inside of a couple of tea bowls and just underneath the fog on a sake decanter. So in this case, it was just a touch of mandarin orange here and there with fog. And I think it looks really good. The orange looks really, really overbearing right now in this video. But in person, it's not bad because the speckled clay comes up through it. It's kind of neat. Now the one in the back, way too much mandarin orange. So I'm going to take some coyote glaze and glob it all around the end edge and refire it, and I hope that that will tone it down a touch. Mandarin orange, it's called. 
Then I did some more Chun Red with a little touch, little dot of black. Last time it was an accident. This time I did it on purpose because I thought it came out nice. And the little vase, the bowl vase, it has a touch of black in four places. And then good old tried and true Chino. Nice sake decanter. Came out good. I don't think you can get much better than that with an electric kiln trying to get a nice golden textured frothy sort of chino look. <laughs> I really like this glaze. And then when I was at Nokomis Grove doing the demos um, a gentleman who turned out to be a minister was watching me throw this pot. He watched it being centered, thrown, shaped, and he bought it on the spot. And I think it came out really pretty. It's sea mist over Chino. Nice little bud vase. And then somebody else at the store asked me to make a mug with an airplane on it because her son-in-law is a pilot and he's going to be here actually tomorrow for Thanksgiving and the mug is ready. I'll be taking it to her today. So, all in all, it was a good firing. Christmas the day before Thanksgiving. Chino, Chun Red, Fog Over Mandarin Orange, a lot of studio potter and student work, a new experiment, Mandarin Orange with Sea Mist. Actually, that, that looks better in real light. This, this pottery is wonderful, but it has these tinted plastic windows. <laughs> so things come out a little bit grayer than they really are. Let's see if that light looks better. Anyway, it came out pretty cool. And successful repeat wear. I'm happy. Thanks for watching.